So for the gluing of the uh, gauges onto the shaft, we will need the X280 adhesive, small strip of the uh, silicon gum that's been provided, and the stainless steel strap and the stainless buckle. With the gauges all on there and protected, now we can move on to mixing the glue. Take the uh, sealing piece out with the X280. Retain the, uh, the white piece for the middle. That can be used as a, a ready glue spreader when we're ready to put the glue on. Now it's a case of mixing the glue and it needs to be mixed for a good couple of minutes. until it's a nice uniform colour. Obviously in a, a warmer environment it will take a little bit less time than a colder environment. You get uh, small amounts of glue in these corners then you can use white joining piece just to help into the middle so that we get the proper mix of the two parts of the, of the adhesive. And as you can see, it's going a nice cloudy colour. And say so with your thumbs, you can be quite forceful with the, the plastic. It shouldn't split on you at all. And it is a case of keeping going until you're at a nice consistency. Then when we're ready, we're also going to need something like a eight millimeter socket or eight millimeter nut spinner, or you can use, if you haven't got that, you can use a normal screwdriver. Now we're pretty much ready to uh, glue the gauges on. So what I'm going to do, small pair of scissors, just snip off the corner there, get the glue ready. A little bit of tissue, a little bit of rag, just got to clean out the first little bit just in case in the corner there, there was any unmixed adhesive. So now very carefully lift off the gauge. Small amount of adhesive on there, being careful not to bend it too much. Some on the shaft, thin smear on the gauge itself, then just gently push down. That one's ready. And exactly the same on the other side. If you've got a bit of a uh, long bit of tape on there, you can actually stick that back just quickly while you're gluing. Again, just smooth down gently with your finger. Then just wipe off any excess and leave that somewhere close by for a minute. Now, the do is the silicon gum. I'm going to place just over the gauges. And then I'm just going to use a small bit of the uh, tape we use for doing the gauging. Just so that I can hold that down while we're working. So the stainless strap we got here. We want that over the two. Then 
start to uh, gently tighten up. Just making sure that all times that stainless is nicely centered over the gum so that you know that it's clamping down on the gauges nicely. And it is just do it up so that it's just just starting to pull into the rubber. You don't need to really tighten it too much at all. Then a small bit of glue just on the shaft there then that can be left overnight if necessary or if the shaft's at a warmer temperature it can be checked every couple of hours literally you can just touch it with your finger see if it's uh, actually cured which at room temperature will be about eight hours at higher temperatures that decreases right, now it's a case of waiting for the uh, the glue to cure and then we can move on to protecting the gauges 